Hi, I'm Joe Coburn from MakeUseOf.com and today we'll be looking at Minecraft Pi Edition. This is a great way to learn programming in real world electronics and I'm going to demonstrate some projects that you can build yourself. If you would like to know more about any of these projects, including the full source code and tutorial, be sure to visit the link in the description. The first project is an automated bridge builder. Whenever the player approaches a body of water, a small patch of water is transformed into solid land. The next project I want to show you is one I call the Super Mining Button. A simple push button is connected to the Raspberry Pi GPIO, that's General Purpose Input Output. This button, when pressed, removes a 10 by 10 by 10 area of blocks. There's no way to delete or otherwise remove blocks, so the trick here is to replace each block with air. I can hold the button down and very quickly remove a large volume of blocks. Teleporting is something that would be very useful. The Minecraft world is a set of coordinates, so it's possible to move the player to a specific location. In this example, the player is teleported to location 0, 0, 0. Another task that can be completed in Python is building a house. When I press this button, a very simple house appears. It has three windows, an opening and a door. You can, of course, make this as complex as you like. Let's make a mini game. When the player steps on a block of sand, the script will change it into lava after a random amount of time. Here is another mini game. After 10 seconds, the floor will disappear. The player must be standing on the safe ground to proceed to the next round. After each round, the time is reduced by one second. For this final example, I have connected up several light emitting diodes or LEDs. I have placed these inside a cheap diamond or toy. Should the player walk over an area that contains diamonds directly below, the light will flash. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more weekly technology tutorials. Make sure you visit the link in the description for the full tutorial.